Hi, welcome to video tutorial number 38, making video out of audio, the poke object. Um, I wanted to start uh, with the last patcher that we used in uh, tutorial 39, 38, I believe, and we can just erase a few things and that way we'll have some stuff already done. Um, in this patcher, we had used we had changed the signal into numeric data and uh, modified an effect with it. In this uh, tutorial today, we're going to actually make video out of it, a, a sort of oscilloscope. And I should just warn you now, this is going to be a two-part video and one of our sort of most intense processes yet. So the first thing we're going to do is clean up a little bit. We'll, uh, unlock your patcher and try to make as much space um, as you can. So I'm going to move this window over here and get all this extraneous stuff out of the way. Like so. We'll put our audio up here. We'll put Spigot Monkey over here with its gain control. We've got our metronome object here. Move it up there. Okay, and now the question is what do we erase? Well, just about everything <laughs> um, except so we're gonna take average out of the game here and so we can just erase average and that number box and just delete them. And then we're going to change the scale object to a scale object that understands waves by putting a tilde in. There we go. So now we have a, a uh, wave scaler. And we'll move that up to there and put our little level meter there and run your gain control directly down to your scale object. Okay, and then I think we can get rid of all of these, so just delete them. And what are we going to do now? What we need to do now is make a jitter matrix to control this window and at the same time make a poke object that's matched to it. So uh, type the letter N and type JIT dot matrix. There it is. And then you, we need to name this. I'm going to call it oscilloscope. O scope. O scope is going to be the name of this and it's going to be a four plane matrix. It's going to be a character type um, number and we'll make it uh, 320 by 240 in keeping with our other pieces. So this matrix is going to output to this patcher window and this metronome is going to help it do that by banging on it. There we go. Okay, so um, as I had mentioned we need now the uh, JIT poke object to feed this matrix the oscilloscope. So let's make, type another new object and we type JIT dot P O K there it is. JIT poke tilde and then we have to put O scope in there again. And now this is tricky. We need to know how many dimensions does the oscilloscope poke object get? Well, it gets two in our case. And which one are we going to make active? Let's just make uh, one active. You could choose probably zero, one, two, or three. I'm going to choose one, which should be red, and make that active. We can. Uh, change that later if we really really want to. Now 
what the poke object needs in order to be able to operate is that it needs a signal for um, uh, here to make it run then it needs a horizontal signal meaning how many times it pulses across the screen and then the signal that it's actually going to, sh to uh, amplify and that'll be the signal from our audio so here we can just type in and type um, excuse me I have to zoom out a little bit here so I can see um, everything uh, so here we type uh, SIG tilde for the signal object and we'll put in a 1 so it's just going to send out an unmodified signal to jitter poke it's sort of like a metronome it keeps it running then here we are going to put in a receive object and we will receive um, our horizontal uh, signal H sig will come into the middle outlet and then our signal um, from the audio is going to come in this outlet now we have a couple things to consider here one if we want it to run down the middle of the screen the screen's 240 pixels tall so we're going to want it to be at 120 pixels so let's type another new object and say plus tilde whoops that's not a tilde where the heck is that there's the tilde plus tilde 120 So that'll put it in the middle. And then um, for a range, um, we'll actually want to multiply. If we're going to go from 0 to 1, then we want 1 to be multiplied by, yes, you guessed it, 120. So now we need another new object. And we're going to say multiply times, which is the asterisk, tilde. 120 and that should send the signal down the middle of the plane this way and the amplitude should just reach the edges of the plane at the highest point and we'll connect the scale over to that object and we are almost ready to go but not quite because you remember we put in our horizontal signal here we need something to really rapidly um, go from 0 to 320 to get this to go across here and so what we're going to do with that um, I'm going to start up here is another new object and this one is called a uh, phaser PHA SOR with a tilde and a phaser makes a signal it doesn't count it makes a signal that goes from 0 up to 1 and then it drops to 0 and it ramps back up to 1 so it's a sawtooth signal um, and then you can tell it what part of the signal you want it to start on in our case um, I think we could just start at uh, 0 zero so there's our phaser and in the top of it we're going to want to um, describe to it how fast we want it to count from uh, from 0 to 320 well just a minute from 0 to 1 so first we put a integer box up there so that I'm sorry delete that. First we put a float box up there just in case we want to go really slow because we like to make things adaptable. And then down here we're going to do our little magic trick of making it go make it be as large as this is wide. So we're going to say new object 
times tilde, because it's a signal, 320. So every time phaser makes a wave that goes from 0 to 1, it will actually go from 0 to 320, and that will be that streaking line that comes across the screen. Okay, and then we will simply send it out. So send to H sig. And that would be simple enough except for one minor detail, which is we also need to erase the screen. And so, so I'm just going to move this over a little bit. In order to erase the screen, um, we're going, just going to use the clear message, which we can put in right away, a message that says clear. This is, you don't necessarily need to clear the screen, but you'll find that you don't like it all that much if you don't. So there's clear the screen. And then what we're going to use is the change object here. New and change object is good for detecting when things are changing, when they're changing direction. And in this case, um, that's when it gets to up to one, it's going to go back to zero, and the change object's going to know it. But <clears throat> of course, it's never so simple. So what we'll do here is go to the help file for change. Um, so in order to do that, I'm just going to zoom out so you can see the whole screen. Click on option and change. All right. So there's a couple different ways to use the change object. This is detect when a signal is decreasing. Mm, we could use that. This detects when a signal is increasing. Um, it's generally increasing in this. We want to know when it's decreasing. It's never going to be the same. So what we really want is this path here. So I'm just going to unlock this patcher and copy these two objects out of here and attach them to my change. Um, I just find this the sometimes the easiest way to do things. Uh, control copy. Um, this says only when it equals um, only when the change is a negative one uh, does it send out something and then the edge detects that something's changed and it bangs. You don't have to know everything in max. Oops, I'm gonna get all three here. But these are the three you want, in my opinion. There's probably a hundred different ways to do this. And then I'm just gonna close that window and paste that object into my patcher here. Oh, thank you for putting it way over there. Here it is, way back over here. Okay, so. And we'll connect this to this. And if everything is just going splendidly, and I think it is, we should be able to then hook this bang to clear over here. So what's going to happen? We tell the phaser how fast, how many times per second to count from 0 to 1, which it will do. It will, when it gets to 1, it will suddenly go in the reverse direction, triggering the change object to send out something that should equal negative 1, because it's changing a negative 1 amount, at which point that change will be noticed by the edge object, and it will send out a bang, as you can see here, output on 0 to non-zero transition. Um, and then that I wonder if I have this on the right end. I might need to move that over to this. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll move it from this one to this one. And then that will clear it, and then this thing will start counting up again. It'll send the horizontal signal into poke. Poke will draw a line, which will be modified by our incoming audio. What do you think? Will it work? We shall see. Okay.
What do we got here? Oops. Yeah. Zoomed too much. So, we'll lock our patcher and turn this up to two times a second. Looks like we've got two blinks per second here. That's great. We'll uh, turn our patcher up to this. We'll turn this up to one and start the metronome. Hey, look at that. So, so far, we've got it, okay? So, zooming back out, now we turn to our movie, which is basketball. And let's see, I detect the faintest little blip here. Let's turn it on loop too so we get more interesting sounds. We're not getting much audio here, so I'm going to turn the gain control up until I start to see some peaks. There's some peaks. Hey, hey, that is a total success. And we could adjust it a little bit here and make it larger so that it scales up larger between when this goes from 0 to 1 this will go from 0 to 1.7 and that will send it right off the scale here for the most part but boy that looks just great well that all happened <clears throat> and I realize it was a very complicated piece um, uh, very quickly um, and I think that should cover us for now and I'm going to come back in another video and uh, put these two together. So enjoy your hours and hours of... Oh, I'm sorry. You know, we should do a quick uh, thing here. Where Now let's uh, slow this down so it goes less than... There we go. A little more like a heartbeat. Come on, basketball. Let's see it. There it is. Nice. Um, what about another movie? Uh, I did like the sound of that crash test movie. Wow. So you can see sometimes it's just going to be a little bit too much. So we either scale it down this way. Or um, just turn the gain down. And that's also another easy way to do it. Well, you can't even see that, so. There they are. And then we'll just overdrive it a little bit. So, absolutely fabulous. Look at that. We have made an oscilloscope on a TV screen. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I'll be back in the next video to actually uh, work on combining this with your other videos. I'll see you soon.